God lives and works today. But maybe you don't feel that way right now. Is there no victory in your life, even though you've accepted Christ as your Savior? Do you keep falling back into the same old sins? Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink can help you. Do you feel that you're a hopeless case? That you're so bound in your sins that it's impossible for you to become free from them? If you do, the question for you to consider is this. Are you really taking the fight with your bondages seriously? Do you really want to be free? If you do, then you can't encourage them by trying to hide them from others. You must reveal these sinful bondages to your spiritual counselor, especially during times of temptation when they come over you with all their power. Have you accepted the fact that you're a miserable being, a weak fighter, that you're overcome easily by the strength of these bondages? Then seek someone to fight with you against these bonds. And be thankful for each one who offers you help and counseling and fighting this battle of faith. The truth will make you free. That means that you must walk in the light and face the truth, namely, to accept your sinfulness and bondages, confessing them before those against whom you've sinned or to the one whom God has given you as a counselor. This is true humility. And to the humble, God will give grace the grace of his help. You will become free from these chains of your sins according to your faith. Yes, when you call upon the name of Jesus, you will experience his salvation and help. He alone can loosen you from the iron bars and chains of your bondages, but in his time, in his hour. If you have to make a long battle of faith and wait a long time for his help, don't despair. Waiting is good for you for it will humble you, and in the end you will experience his help and release. For God's name is yea and amen. His promises count, and his fatherly love will never disappoint you. We receive God's aid to the extent that we believe in it. God is not like a human being who promises something and then doesn't fulfill it. No, what he promises he fulfills. Therefore, when we want to become free from our sins and bondages, we must believe until the end. Yes, believe and you will overcome. Believe and all will become new. God's promises come true. Whatever he says he'll do. My heart no doubt can hold about what he has told. I know your word is sure, it is a rock secure. What you say comes about, of that there is no doubt. His help he may delay on dark or dreary way, but then he will impart faith to my fearful heart. So I from day to day in love and trust will pray and in my heart perceive one day I will receive all I believed. This program by Basilea Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.